Hi, my name is Nihal and I'm a beauty lover. I definitely have more makeup than the average person, but I'd say my collection is still very minimal, especially for someone who makes beauty content. The new year is a perfect reason to go over my collection and get rid of a few things. And I hope you find this video interesting and perhaps it will inspire you to shake some dust from your 2010 matte lipsticks. Don't forget about those 2015 Morphe 40,000 pan sunset palettes. Okay, thank you, enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've been doing the peace sign and I kind of do be missing it. So today's video, I'm gonna be going through my makeup collection, my skincare. Basically, I have this desk. There's two separations, I don't know. Uh, one contains all my makeup and one contains all my skincare. It's a mess. It got really messy really quick. And every year anyways, I try to cut down my makeup, see what is expired, things I don't use, get rid of them, give them, whatever it may be. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Hope you're ready for a fun time. It's snowing so much. Ooh. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Okay, so here is my desk area. The first drawer, we have the makeup. This is what we have going on. It's a little bit messy. What we've got going on, it's not very efficient, so I don't like that. And this is the skincare slash random stuff. We're also going to tackle this. But first, we're gonna deal with this. And the first step is just going to be taking everything out. The fact that there's just like a random pair of lashes over here, chilling, terrifying. empty it's incredibly nasty in here there's powder cream contour hairs I'm I'm gonna clean this up now I have to deal with this I'm going to empty everything out and cleanse these containers because I know there's like loose powder lipstick stains all that stuff that is just very gross I've had this mascara for a full year. I'm pretty sure it's just not good anymore. So I'm going to throw this out. on my desk and what I've been doing with this recently is just put everything that I'm using if I'm creating like a makeup look either for TikTok or Instagram so I can know exactly what I use to uh, create descriptions or you know product lists so there's that this is my favorite powder but very sadly it broke and it's in pieces the smartest thing to do would probably to repress it but one i'm afraid that is going to change the formula and i'm not gonna like it as much and two i'm just like really lazy <laughs> so this is what i've been doing it doesn't work really well just putting it between like tissue paper but yeah i'm just gonna <laughs> grab a new one and close it this is what i have currently on my bed so i've made some piles of like categories we've got some highlighters some lash glue this is a bronzer some blushes these are all my freckle products yes i do have a lot of them i love my faux freckles primers concealers skin stuff cream contour lots of lip products brow stuff mascara lip balms 
These are like eye primers or like eye related products, I guess. Some eyeliners and these are all my palettes with some rhinestone lashes and stuff like that. That was everything that was in that makeup drawer. However, this is my desk. If you move right over here, I have more makeup. And here is like the makeup that I don't really use anymore. Once again, it is a mess. And I'm gonna see what I'm keeping and leaving behind. Okay, these are all palettes. Some are for my face, some are for the eyes. So I'm just gonna go through each one and see if I keep them. This one is very loved. My very first purchase at Sephora. And yes, of course, I'm keeping it. I love it so much. It's such a versatile purchase and I love it, love it. This is a brand new palette that I got. Well, brand new. I got it a few months ago and it's a pastel palette from Beauty Bay. It works pretty well. This is probably my all-time favorite palette. I was so close to not getting it because it was so expensive. This was $80. It's the Dose of Colors Friendcation palette in collaboration with Desi and Katie. I don't regret buying this palette because these transition shades, well these mattes, you can do so much with and then there's so much you can do also with the shimmery ones okay this is the dream street palette from miss kathleen lights x color pop overall it's just not a palette that i reach for i don't like it that much but i don't want to get rid of it too because you see there are a few shades in here that are super special like this and this it's like a really beautiful like reflective silver with a little bit of blue i don't have in anything else so i'm going to keep it but i'm not going to keep it in my everyday drawer this is a classic modern renaissance palette i love this most so much i've used it so much as you can see this little elf bite size shadow i actually really like it the shades in here are not like special so i'm gonna keep it but not for every day this is my cream contour palette from anastasia i really love this i'm gonna keep it in every day drawer and this is james charles palette and say what you want about mr charles and whatever i honestly i really like this it just it's a good colorful basic palette and i don't regret buying it at all but i ain't gonna keep this in the everyday because i don't really do colorful looks every day so okay this is another colorful palette and i actually really love this i thought after getting the james one i would not reach for it as much but i still i still love it so much there's like just a good variety of pastels in here that you can't can't find in the James Charles one that I really like so I'm totally keeping it okay this glow kit you know I bought it like back in 2015 when everyone got it it's such a waste of money now because first of all I can only use these two and I never reach for them I never reach for them so I think it's time for me to say goodbye to this one and give it to somebody who's going to appreciate probably my family back home so okay I decided to cut this part out because I'm basically just going through everything and showing you if I'm keeping it or not so i'm just gonna be showing you at the very end what i ended up getting rid of because it's more interesting that way but if you want to see an actual makeup collection then let me know down below and i will totally get to that i'm getting rid of these this is um a kit that i bought from nude sticks and it's basically the founder's kit and honestly the only one i can use is the mom's one so this is the two daughters and they created their own custom shades but they're just too light for me and i never use them this is a kiko highlighter that my friend got for me when she went on student exchange in europe but i don't know if she thought i was this dark but this doesn't work for me i tried using it as an eyeshadow but it's just not that impressive so this is a blue mascara from ColourPop. i actually really love the formula it's just i don't reach for it because it's blue this eyeliner sucks i just don't like it i'm also throwing it out because it's old this lipstick too it smells really bad this smells really bad and i've had it for so long so i'm getting rid of it i'm also getting rid of this um this tastes bad <laughs> and it's just so lackluster this is actually really sad okay this is the kathleen line gloss from her first collection with ColourPop, and i really really love it but i've had it for at least two years it's in the shade moon child i really like it oh my god you guys are gonna see how sweaty my hands are and i'm getting really self-conscious this is an eyeliner that doesn't really work so goodbye i've tried so many ways to make it work but it just doesn't this is a stick eyeshadow from lancome and like this beautiful green shade i actually love it a lot and finally i have this this is the becca skin love 
foundation and I really love this the thing is I got this in a shade way too dark for me I thought it was gonna work during the summer it doesn't so yeah so far this is the only things I can give out here are my clear organizers these long ones are from the dollar store this small square one also from the dollar store this big one is from winners I think I'm gonna start with like the order of the makeup I do. Primers, setting spray, base stuff, and concealers. Cream bronzers. I'm gonna put the cream bronzer with the concealer. This is my bronzer highlight, other cream highlight, blushing. This one, I know it's like so dangerous, I don't know what to do with it. Freckle stuff. Brow stuff. These are eye stuff. I'm gonna put the freckle stuff and the brow stuff together. And then eye stuff together. And palettes. I'm gonna put the lip balms over here. And then these are the lip stuff. And just fold it. stuff can go here that was slightly aggressive I'm gonna add these brushes with this beauty blender I think at the back since there's some space I'm gonna utilize it and put the palettes that I just don't use as much because it's flat and it's gonna fit perfectly Alright, so this is what is left of the makeup that I just don't reach for every day. And these are the lip products left. Okay, I've done a little bit of cleaning over here. First one. Then the second one. Okay, now this is what it looks like inside. So all the palettes are here. Base stuff, concealer, base... Um, I'm sorry if this doesn't look aesthetic. This is the broken Charlotte Tilbury powder and the broken blush But yeah more face stuff and eyebrows here We have eyes stuff and then lip stuff and then the everyday palettes and some tools doesn't look good But it's organized. So that's what matters Moving on to this Okay, the first step for all of this too is just to remove everything and dump it on my bed I'm gonna use this tray as well as this and it doesn't fit and it doesn't fit maybe like that this is gonna be for skincare as you can see this is all of my skincare there's a lot of it there's a few things like this this I like to keep on my desk because I use them very often serums Dates, no stuff, treatments. This is for my glasses. Pharmacy number two, contacts, pills, some vitamins my mom made for me that I never take. And this is what we got skincare, drugstore area, random stuff, and then hair. These are 
the skincare stuff that doesn't fit in here and also just looks really nice here one last time this is what the skincare looks like and lastly the makeup yes feeling much better now i still have to clean my makeup brushes because they're super dirty and they probably are giving me breakouts and this whole process took so much longer than i thought it was going to i'm literally so tired right now but this was much needed and my desk just feels so much lighter and clean now all right as always you guys stay safe be kind and i'll see you in the next one